by Richard Peck Gunn, the poet emeritus of Tennessee in 1962. Let me tell you about the bully that was in our country school. He was smart, he seemed to think, and everyone else a fool. He just made us do his bidding, tote his dinner down the road. We all did the things he told us, cause he had us buffaloed. He would pick on some new fellow when he got him out of sight. Then he made us boys all hold him so he wouldn't have to fight. He'd cuss and holler, turn me loose, and whisper neath his breath, now hold me, boys, cause I have got this new boy scared to death. Then little Charlie came along, was new in school that day, a humble sort of fellow with nothing much to say. He was bashful there that morning. I could imagine how he felt. He was wearing threadbare breeches held up by a rawhide belt. His blue shirt was torn and faded, and his hair, it wasn't cut. He had a rising on a finger and stone bruise on his foot. He was freckle-faced and lanky. Bushy hair was fiery red. He just sauntered over beside me, and I'll tell you what he said. Did you ever go to some place where everybody there was a-staring and a-wondering who you was and what you air? I'm a-feeling kind of lonesome, and I'd like so much to be a friend of yourn, if you don't mind, to be a friend to me. Get him out, the bully ordered. Take him over by the bluff. I want to see what kind of metal this here Charlie's made out of. Hello, Charlie, said the leader. Let's all go around the bend. Charlie's face began to light up because he thought he'd found a friend. We all got out of hearing. Bully started to abuse, making fun of Charlie's clothing. Asked him why he had no shoes. Ha <laughs> ha, look at all them patches. See them blue ones where they are? Why, them there big ones on his setter look like headlights in a car. Ha <laughs> ha. Charlie straightened up his shoulders, thought he'd laugh his way on through it. He just swallowed kind of hard like, tried to smile but couldn't do it. As I watched that little fellow, I could tell that he was hurt, chin a-quivering as he looked at his bare toes moving the dirt. So don't be laughing at my britches. I'm ashamed they're all I've got. We don't have the things that you have, but we don't complain a lot. I'm going to whoop you, said the bully, and he furthermore allowed that he's going to beat the stuffing out of him before the crowd. I'm a stranger here amongst you, and I want to do what's right. I ain't courting of no trouble, and I sure don't want to fight. If the things that I've been saying hurt your feelings in some way, well, I apologize and beg your pardon. Mama taught me that away. Then the fighting words were spoken. Bully sneered and said his jaw, You got feathers on your legs and ain't got no gravel in your craw. We were holding of the bully, making out that he was bad, pretending if we didn't hold him that he would kill the other lad. But we had all agreed together. But the bully didn't know that we planned today to lose him about the time he was raring so. He was lunging in and saying, let me go, I'll cook his goose. We all just took the signal, gave a push, and turned him loose. We just pushed him right straight forward, and I know he wondered why. He looked scared, but little Charlie stood and didn't bat an eye. Like a flash, the little feller, quicker than you ever saw, to a left jab to the stomach and a right cross to the jaw. He came up with a big haymaker. He had brought it from the ground. He hit that bully in the belly, and we saw him slumping down. He was kicking and a-squirming, and his guys all gathered round. Heard the new boy humbly saying, I won't hit him while he's down. When we all went home that evening, Bully toted his own books. Girls all know that something had happened. They could tell it by our looks. We don't mind him any longer, for there's one thing that we know. When he jumped on little Charlie, Charlie killed his buffalo. I can't laugh when you're mistreating other folks, I'll tell you why. I just can't see no fun in it if it hurts the other guy. You can mistreat other people, but won't get you very far till someone will call your bluff and show you up for what you are. Thank you.